All right, welcome back. Brandon Rhymes here, your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Coming up in just a minute, Thomas King, Florida Firearms Academy. We're going to talk about some training classes uh, coming up at FFA. Also, we got special guest Jerry Wilson in the house, two cats hauling and dumping on the Consumer Quarterback Show coming up here in just a moment. Before we do, we always like to feature our real estate listings. It's part of our strategy for our real estate business. We're a top 100 ranked real estate team at Keller Williams Realty uh, here in Tampa Bay, Livian Coastal Elite. Uh, is our new brand real excited about the growth uh, happening uh, with keller williams and we got a property here at 14 baywood drive in palm harbor this is one of our beautiful listings uh, here in uh, palm harbor pinellas county now i love this community because you've got your own private boat dock uh, and boat ramp you can back your boat right down you'd be in the gulf of mexico in minutes 14 baywood drive palm harbor you got 29 13 square feet four bedrooms three bath completely remodeled three-story home, wood-burning fireplace in the living room, vaulted ceilings, pool, and screened-in porch as well. Waterfront community at 14 Baywood Drive, Palm Harbor, Florida. Commercial property at 4404 Orient Road in Tampa. This is another commercial listing of mine. Uh, we've got 60-plus listings, commercial, residential, and vacant land listings from my team, the Platinum MVP team. Uh, 4404 Orient Road, just down the road from the casino, 6,000 square feet, well-built office building. All five units are currently leased out. Uh, you've got plenty of parking, recently updated interior, great investment opportunity. 4404 Orient Road in Tampa, Florida. And you can see all of our real estate listings at PlatinumMVPTeam.KW.com. And a quick shout out to our friends at Replenish IV Solutions. I love going over and visiting uh, the Gandy location. They've got multiple Bay Area locations. I get that vitamin infusion drip, something like the Myers cocktail, right into your bloodstream. ReplenishIVSolutions.com. Make sure you let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. All right, Thomas King, Florida Firearms Academy. Welcome back, sir. Hey, hey. You know, Brandon, do you actually, like, screen your listings? Because you always have beautiful homes up oh, there. thanks, man. Do you, do you just say, hey, no, sorry, I'm not. That one's not good enough. For me I, you know, list. I list almost everything. I'll tell really? you. Really? Okay. Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah. well, you always get the we good ones. Interesting. Yeah. I recently just saw a picture of you with a uh, Jerry Springer. Yeah, that's right. And he just passed away. Were you friends with him, or just met him, or? Yeah, that was at an event that we went to, uh, ten year celebration for uh, the Bone. Right. Was he a good guy? Yeah, you know, from what I met him, yeah, he seemed to be a pretty nice guy. Crazy business he was in. Yeah, right. Well, speaking of Jerry, I have a special guest today, a friend of mine that's also with the Chamber. He does all kinds of stuff that you want and need, even though a lot of times you don't want, but you're going to have to have to give him a call. And right now we're running a special at Florida Firearms Academy. If you buy one cent worth of anything, you get 10% off of his business, and he's going to tell you a little bit about what he does. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Thomas. Um, yes, two cats hauling and dumping. We are a junk removal, dumpster rental service, and we provide a um, little transport of golf carts and different things as well. But um, definitely a business that I got into because I saw a need here in the community and um, actually just in the world of um, hoarding is a big issue yep. here in the community and uh, around the world. So I uh, ran into a personal situation that made me change the direction of what I was doing in life, uh, step out of corporate America and, and jump into this field of work. But uh, a lot of people don't understand that uh, accumulation of clutter in your home is a safety issue. Yeah. The, the, the chemicals and different things that combine, you have invisible fumes that are floating around, which causes different issues, medical issues. So it's very yeah. important that you get your, your house in order. And uh, no job is too small, no, no job is too big. So. That's interesting to me because a lot of the people that are doing hoarding and you have family knowing they're doing hoarding, you need to contact him to have them come out because this is detrimental to your health. Yeah. And you got to <laughs> straighten up your life. Well, yeah, it's a, to me, it, you know, I can tie these two together here. The Thomas King Florida Firearms Academy with the gun control debate mm -hmm. and uh, Jerry uh, Wilson with two cats hauling and dumping with hoarding, as you mentioned, that you know, hoarding to me is a mental disorder. Right. So they always come after the guns. We had another Texas mall shooting. We had another shooting, of course. So what do the lefties do? They jump up and say, oh, it's the gun. It's an inanimate object. It does, you know, the gun's not going to kill people. Right? But it's the mental. They don't want to discuss that. The pharmaceutical. Oh, no, we can't look at Tucker Carlson. He got he got canned because he went after big pharma. Right. right? So you can't talk about pharma. You can't talk about the video games. You can't talk about the violence in, in movies. Uh, but then also the mental health in this country has gone way downhill. Any journalist, like, look at Snowden. 
you know what? That guy came out and told the American people what was really going on, and now he had to flee the country. Any yeah. real journalist that comes out to tell you the truth, That's right. oh, we're going to put this guy down forever and destroy him and do whatever we need to yeah. do because we can't let people know the truth, right? Right, exactly. The whistleblowers need more protection, and uh, luckily there's a couple good ones I think Jim Jordan's talking to now. Uh, you know, I try to keep up with some of that stuff. Full-time realtor here, right? Part-time <laughs> yeah. radio show host, <laughs> political commentator. Right. So there's only a certain amount of hours in a day. But, I mean, gosh, it's, there's a lot Are of news happening. Are we at the happening. point where it's too late, though? I mean, when we're no. thinking, talking about too late, no. no one's held accountable for anything. Right. But we're, we're, there's going to be a changing of the guards. We're going to we're gonna win this next election by a landslide because we have to, uh, to, to in order to uh, – you know, offset those fake ballots that those mask bell, voter mail out ballots that get shipped out. And the 2,000 mules, if you haven't seen the movie, go see it. 2,000 mules. Dinesh D'Souza did a great job on that, documenting that. Uh, but, uh, Thomas, tell us a little bit more about some of your training classes you got going on. So right now we just did something, with, and Alex Black about Lima was out there with me. Uh, we just focused on um, tunnel focus because that's a big thing. And also we just did a scenario where you're at a mall shooting and good guys run in front of you. If you are tunnel focused, you're going to not see the peripheral vision of the people running in front of you, screaming, trying to get out of there. And now, instead of you becoming a hero, you're a zero, and you're going to be going to jail because you just shot someone. Yeah. It's illegal to shoot someone, a good guy. So you also have to think when you're moving from cover to cover, you have to check your position, your side, your six, your behind you, making sure there's no other threat. There's recently a shooting not that long ago in, Wal in a Walmart. I think it was in Texas. A guy was about to shoot this other guy that was shooting at people. He was about to take him out, and he was just tunnel-focused, and his girlfriend came up behind him, the guy that was a, act, a shooter, and shot the guy in the back of the head. Wow. Him out. So you have to check around you. Is there other threats? So that was one of the big things that most people fail, but after this course, they really started to understand, oh, I get it now, I get yeah. it. It's not a competition shoot. It's a normal shoot. But that's, you know, a lot of the big ones. The next big one we have coming up is low light. Shooting in the dark, you learn something yeah. that you've never done before. If you've never done it, the actual flame that comes through there, making you blind, seeing what you cannot see, you're going to learn these uh, and how to use your flashlights in different uh, sequences. And uh, if you have one attached to your firearm in your hand, FBI style, there's many different styles. So we're going to make sure you understand and utilize them each correctly. Well, it's a good point you make, too, about keeping your head on a swivel. We learned that one pretty early in football, because if, you, yeah. if you're on a if you're on a if you're running down to tackle that that receiver or tackle that kickoff return guy, and you're not looking to your left every now and then, you get what they call that pancake. Yeah, <laughs> where the guy clips you, and you, you don't see it coming. Get that ear hole. Yeah, you know, they hit you right in the ear hole, and you end up I don't on. I think your, that's allowed anymore. But. but yeah, you got to keep your head on a swivel. Uh, so, Thomas, also one thing I would recommend also for folks out there, if uh, you haven't been to Thomas' Facebook page and Instagram. Go to Florida Firearms Academy uh, Facebook and Instagram pages. Like it. Follow the pages uh, because, Thomas, you're always giving stuff away, man. Giving stuff away, doing something good, helping out the neighborhood, doing stuff for the community, doing stuff for the kids, and also people like Jerry for businesses out there. Right now, we're running this promotional special for 10% off. Now, that's a great deal. If you have something in your warehouse, at your house that you just need taken out, something sitting in your backyard, give him a call because, like he said, there's no job too small, and you're going to get that out of there. And that, what does that give – you were just talking about earlier, Jerry. It gives people sense of peace of mind yeah. knowing that when you came in there, they were all sad, hey, how much is going to cost? And then when he does it, he just had a client of yours, yeah. a doctor. Yeah, um, absolutely. It's, it's basically we charge you for the space that you use in our equipment. Um, we don't come out and say, hey, it's going to be $800, it's going to be $900. We let you know up front there are no hidden costs, and we try to be fair. So, you know, we want to get to the customer before they become that hoarder. That's the goal. Yeah. We don't want the hoarding situation. We want the customers that have a few items that they need to get rid of, but if you have a yeah. lot of items, we can take that as well. You know, this this is something, too. With, you know, in Tucker, one of Tucker's speeches I saw where he – his one of his last speeches at the Heritage Foundation – uh, he went into this whole thing, good versus evil, right? Mm -hmm. and, and he mentioned cleanliness is next to godliness. Like, it really is. I mean, it's a biblical principle. If you're if you're living in an area, uh, you know, in your home, and, and I know you get busy. you got kids, soccer, games on the weekends. You're always busy. You're working now more than ever to pay all these different bills, taxes, inflation. Uh, but, you know, cleansing, cleanliness is next to godlessness or godliness uh, where, you know, the, the cleaner your environment is going to be, the, the better you're going to feel about yourself. Yeah. Right? 
And it's funny that you said that because, um, like I was telling Thomas when we were talking, um, I feel that this is my calling. My calling is to help people. Yeah. And uh, people say, help people with their junk. Well, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm retired. I like to stay physical. I work out. Yeah. And this is me working out yeah. every day, even if I don't get to make it to the gym. And, and I'm right. helping thing, someone. I like One that. cool yeah. thing he was telling me was if he has something in his house and has been there for a year and he doesn't use it, he donates it or gets right. rid of it and keeps it all your clutter gone, right? right? Absolutely. And let me chime in on what you just said, donation. A lot of the stuff that we collect, they're, they're donated. We work with a lot of nonprofits in Oldsmar in different areas, Pinellas County, uh, disabilities and different things. We try to give some of that stuff to them that can be used and recycled or help somebody that's less fortunate. So it's something that we think uh, is very important to give back, and this is how we chose to give back yeah. to the community. Yeah, a lot of times when we take a new listing, we'll, we'll take a listing and, you know, the, one of the sellers, they'll say, oh, well, you know, I just, I don't know how, when I'm going to have time to do this. And sometimes it's time, time is of the essence. Like right now, the way the market's shifting, it's shifting to a buyer's market, a balanced market right now. So if I'm talking to sellers, you know, we're in mid-May, you know, you got May, June, those are pretty still good solid months. You start getting in July and August, it slows down, it's hot, people don't want to mm -hmm. do much, they're on vacations. Uh, so time is of the essence, you know, when you look at that and. Uh, so, so yeah, you know, look at look at getting the house clean, and you'll have a couple different bins. You'll have uh, donation, uh, trash, and keep. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. And some of it's chemicals. You got to know what you have, so that's why you hire someone that's a professional that can take that. Because if not, if they get stuff in there, they could it could actually be very detrimental to their health. True. And how much so are dumping fees? Have dumping fees gone up pretty significant? They, they've changed a lot. Uh, yeah. It depends on where you go. If you're in Pinellas, then you know. But uh, just across the board, dumping fees after COVID or since COVID have changed it like everything else and yep. it's going through the roof. Yep. So, so safety cautions. So you have, you have to go in with hazmat suits and Some jobs you do. Um, I've yep. had a couple jobs where, yes, it does require having the safety, the, the mask, the hazmat suit, and different things. Yep. For the most part, um, typical job is not that way but we're prepared if it is so it's always you have to be safe we're looking out for the customer as well as for um, our employees and different things as well so it's just very important that like you said clean safety yeah. that's, that's safety, my job clean. <laughs> that's yeah. right. so uh, constitutional carry just passed recently July yeah. I believe um, so what we're going to do is we have extra classes that teach you the safety if you are going to carry a firearm Come on down, sign up for one of our classes. We're going to show you how to holster draw, how to safely carry a firearm, and make sure that you do not hurt someone that you do not want to hurt or even yourself. Thomas King, Florida Firearms Academy, Jerry Wilson, two cats hauling and dumping uh, here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. We're going to take a quick break more uh, with our two expert contributors here in studio coming up uh, here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Follow us online at Brandon Rhymes one uh, at CQB Show, and at Brandon Rhymes PA. And we'd love to connect with you. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Over 2,000 videos now on our YouTube channel. 10 years on air. We're having a big celebration uh, for 10 years on air on July 4th uh, here uh, in Pinellas County. Uh, it's a private event, but uh, really excited about that. 10 years on air and uh, more with our expert contributors coming up here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, Consumer QB. All right, welcome back. Brandon Rhymes here, Thomas King, Florida Firearms Academy, our Second Amendment expert contributor on the Consumer Quarterback Show. He's got a special guest in studio as well, Jerry Wilson, Two Cats Holland and Dumpin'. He's the president of that company. Uh, before we jump back into that, uh, I want to talk about self-defense uh, coming up here in just a minute as well. Uh, before we do, we've got a couple of hot listings here I want to let you know about uh, here in Tampa Bay. Uh, we've got some vacant land available. We've got about 65 listings currently, uh, about a dozen or so vacant land parcels. If you're looking for land out there, we'd love to talk to you. Uh, B rhymes at kw.com, B R I M E S at kw.com, or you can reach out to the show hotline. And uh, but we got a property at 2817 Gulf City Road in Ruskin. This is 23 acres waterfront prime land for development. This is Bay Access, Ruskin, Florida, Hillsborough County. Build townhomes, condos, uh, you know, potentially here on this this great property here great roi potential motivated seller 2817 gulf city road ruskin florida hillsborough county beautiful property uh, that you can build and develop land and that's south hillsborough county we got zero south wind drive at hudson another vacant parcel of land uh, this is a single family home spot 
uh, perfect for you to build your single family home. Gulf of Mexico is your backyard. Uh, check it out. You've got a, a conservation area and then, of course, the Gulf of Mexico. Beautiful property. South Wind Drive in Hudson. Uh, it's a .16 acre. Gorgeous Gulf front lot. Sea Pines neighborhood. List, just listed slightly over $200,000. And down at the end of the street there, you've got a room and you got a seawall where you can build your own private boat dock. So beautiful property there. Uh, live that beautiful Florida lifestyle. Get out there in the Gulf of Mexico. Go catch some grouper and some uh, awesome fish. Enjoy the the best that Florida lifestyle has to offer. And you can see all of our listings at PlatinumMVPTeam.KW.com. Buy, Buy some dirt. All right, Thomas, so, uh, you know, self-defense is illegal in some states here now, and I say that facetiously, but, you know, if you look at Kyle Rittenhouse, he, he defended himself. You look at a couple of these other people. Uh, the latest uh, is this uh, Jordan Neely uh, character up in, uh, I don't know if you heard about that, when the Marine choked him out, basically. He was, uh, this guy goes on the train, starts saying, hey, you know, speaking erratically, I'm going to hurt somebody, or if anybody messes with me, you know, he's mentally, again, back to the mental health, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, happened so i don't know i don't know if you heard about that but uh, i'm gonna play a quick clip here the subway this guy uh this marine choked him out of course now all the activists are saying oh this this guy he was harmless and the strap hanger should have simply ignored him even if he was saying some threatening things to other passengers they've shared old videos of neely dancing to michael jackson songs on the subway as evidence that he was a kind soul who was simply down on his luck and desperate for help the other camp though says the incident is tragic but that Neely was a violent criminal who should have been in prison, not roaming the streets. They point to his 42 prior arrests, including one case in 2021 where he fractured the orbital bone of a 67-year-old woman, and another in 2015 in which he was convicted with the attempted kidnapping of a 7-year-old girl as evidence that he posed a serious threat to those around him. In their view, New York City officials are at fault for creating an environment where strap hangers feel the need to take matters into their own hands to defend themselves. Yeah, so that's what you find in a lot of blue cities, blue states, is that the good Samaritan who ends up, in this case, a 24-year-old Marine, uh, he, he took this guy down, put him in a chokehold, and, you know, I guess the guy lost, you know, of course, lost his breath. Was he attacking breath. somebody? Yeah, yeah, oh. he, was, he was threatening people on the train station, and, and uh, he has 42 prior arrests, violent criminal, broke a woman's orbital bone, you know, the traditional... The guy died after the oh, chokehold. Died. Yeah, I, my Whoa. clips are out of order here. I had a clip that I should have played first, but for only for time's sake, you know. But the similar stuff. Kyle Rittenhouse defending himself. There was a bar owner in, uh, I think it was St. Louis, Missouri, defending himself. The McCluskeys walked out in their front yard holding guns, uh, saying, "Hey, don't come onto my property." Uh, and there was a violent mob out in the streets. They got arrested. You know. Hmm. So that's the one of the main things why I partner up with the USCCA. The USCCA isn't like an insurance issue where if you do have to defend yourself, and that's the case today, where you have to def now go to court to up the bat. And what that happens is you're going to have an attorney that pays for it. So it's not going to come out of your pocket. You're not going to lose your house. You're not going to lose your car. That is free representation by an attorney that knows about defense. Right. So this guy right now, he's going to have to get an attorney. Yep. He's going to have to go down this avenue. He may lose everything. So if you are that guy, and we talk about this in classes, and that's why, like, also with Alex over here, with Black Belt Lima, Fema, uh, we talk about how we de-escalate things, how we right. try to not be involved in these situations, because no good's going to come from it. Yeah. But if it, if someone's attacking someone and you have to stop the threat, yeah. well, then you have to be a good Samaritan to yeah. stop the threat. So yeah. you've got to know what's going on. You've got to know this guy is a threat. He is trying to do harm. Or, or even worse to someone else, I do have to step in and stop that. Right. Now, you're going to have half the people say, hey, he's a hero. And you're going to have half the people say, hey, this guy needs to go to jail. So it's going to be up to a jury to decide, and you better have a really good attorney that's going to defend you. Yeah, exactly. And that's why you see a lot of people now, too, with uh, they'll just pull out their smartphone and start filming everything. They won't try to stop you know, it. Yeah, they want to get that money. On that video, that cell phone. So yeah, that's kind of sad. But it's cowardless, you know. It's to me, it's a coward situation where people that they they won't intervene. Right. But that's just the way that I was brought up. We were our generation was brought up. Jared, you mentioned you were from Mississippi. Yeah. You probably had you know family values of you know work Absolutely. hard, you know, uh, defend what's rightfully yours. Those types of things. Protect yourself. Work hard. Yeah. Do unto others as you would want to be done unto you. Exactly. Things of that nature. It wasn't even right. that long ago. I saw uh, it was uh, one of the governors were speaking at an event 
and this guy charged at him, yeah. and Brandon Rodden grabbed him by the shirt and ripped him down. I was right next to you at <laughs> that. that. Tampa. And yeah, it was Tampa. And yeah. you know what? You did a good deed. You actually saw this guy was about to do some harm, and you yeah. grabbed him and threw him in on the ground, yeah. and they took him away. That was fun. That and was at a Salem event. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, you know what? I think I I thought that was fantastic of you. Yeah. Um, good thing nothing else came from it. And no lawsuits or anything like that, but you yeah. know what? You have to be the one because yeah. if you don't, if we all don't, right. then, then anyone's going to get away with everything. Yeah, well, that's one of the things I, you know, I would just kind of say it before the show. You know, be careful about where you travel to. You know, because if you're in, a, if you're in a jury in Washington D.C., that's like ninety percent. Uh, you know, people that believe a certain way. So let's bring it back home here. We got a couple minutes left. Thomas King, Florida Firearms Academy. I want to get your final thoughts. And if there are any new laws uh, coming up, and then we'll go to Jerry. Yeah, all the laws are about banning everything, don't want everything, and new CBDs coming out in July. <laughs> the whole world's going to change. Basically, if you want to get some awesome training from amazing instructors, we are the best. We are at the best prices. We do 40 different types of classes. You can sign up at FFATampa.com or give us a call at 813-221-FIRE. 221-F-I-R-E. That's Florida Firearms. You can also reach the show hotline, and you can go on ConsumerQB.com. You can see Thomas's uh, show card there as well. Uh, Jerry, final thoughts back to you, my friend. Hey, um, hey, thank you for having me on the show, both Brandon and Thomas. And, um, you know, hey, just give me a, give two cats hauling a call. Two cats hauling and dumping. If you got any items that you need to have removed from your home, uh, feel free. We're trusted. And give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help you out. Show show hot, I'll give the show hotline, 727-263-3707. Call or text that line. It's an off-air number, 727-263-3707. Uh, you can call or text that line, off-air number, vrhymes at kw.com. Also, on the website, consumerqb.com, uh, you can submit an email form there uh, at consumerqb.com. Submit the email form, and we'll get you in touch with Thomas King, Florida Firearms Academy, Jerry Wilson, two cats hauling and dumping, and uh, – one of the things that we had mentioned too, go to the go to the Facebook page. You got any contests coming up? Always got something coming up, but right now we got ten percent off for right here for two cats. So nice. come on down, get your ten percent off. Give Jerry a call; he'll hook you up to make you famous. All right, good stuff, guys. Thanks for coming in, and we want you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. Do something kind for one another. Be a force for good in the community, and pray for our country. Uh, Lord knows we need it. We'll see you next time. Consumer Quarterback Show. ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play.